Well, welcome everybody to today's game of Indianapolis Squirrels Baseball. We're going to be hosting the Pirates again today, our last game of the series. I did not look ahead to see who we have up next. Um, I just thought I could do that on my phone, but my phone is charging in another room. So, I guess I won't do that. So, coming to you from Panpaka Park. I feel like I've got that little loud on the background noise. Maybe it wasn't that bad. I don't know. Maybe I should keep it back up where it was. Better, worse? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. We're back around to the top of the rotation. Graves going to be starting the game today. And uh, I am recording a little bit later than usual today. We just, excuse me, just on a whim, we uh, took our girls to see the new Super Mario Brothers movie tonight. So just got back from that. It was a good movie. You know, it's not a cinematic classic, but it was fun. It was a good time. Duffy leads off the ball with a ground ball to short. Joey throws the ball in the dirt, but Terry able to scoop that up. Jack Wilson will come up next that ball too low that one also too low oh ugh. that'll get foul I've got this zero sugar propel watermelon flavored water it is not great would not recommend Wilson comes up with the hit to center field That'll bring up Brian Roberts. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Roberts down 0-2. Fouls that one away. And looks at a fastball for strike three. Must have been looking for something a little more crafty out of our crafty lefty. Xavier Nady up at the plate now. That one too far inside. That one over the plate. Swing and a miss. One and two the count. And swing and a miss, and that'll get us out of the inning. The Pirates do get a hit, but no runs. We'll flip to the Squirrels half of the inning, and... Kester will lead us off as he usually does. Dan Heron pitching for the Pirates today. He was in at least his second season in Pittsburgh, maybe even his third. He, he's been there a while now. And he's been very effective, I will say, at least in games against us. Kester grounds the first pitch to second base for the easy out. Marvin up next. Watch as that go over for a strike. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh He'll put that ball right. Line drive to shortstop out number two. Chief at the plate now. Might remember he had the walk-off home run and extras in the first game of this series. Every game of this series has gone extra innings. The Pirates finally able to hand us our first loss yesterday. Chief able to go up the middle for a hit. He'll stop it first. That'll bring Terry to the plate. He hit a home run. I believe that was just yesterday. Or actually, I think his was two days ago. Woodger hit the home run yesterday. I don't know. I can't remember now. In any case, he grounds out to first here. So we'll mirror the Pirates. One hit, but nothing else doing. We've played one inning. Nobody has scored. Casey Blake up at the plate for the Pirates now. Graves gets that call. Goes with the changeup for a strike. 0-2 the count. Gets Blake to pop up foul on a changeup, and Tom is able to make the play. 
Jose Bautista coming to the plate now. Strike one on him. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. And looks at a slider for strike three. Ryan Sweeney at the plate now. He's managed to get his average up into triple digits again. Looks at strike one here. Grounds right to Chief, who will get it over across for the last out of the inning. We'll flip to the bottom of the second. Nobody has scored yet. Frank will open up the inning for the Squirrels. High fastball for a strike there. Frank swings and misses. Finds himself down 0-2. And looks at strike three. Tom at the plate, who was not able to get a hit yesterday to keep his hit streak going. Looks at ball one here. Swing and a miss. One and one the count. That one gets too far to the left. Foul ball. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Dan Heron. Zach at the plate now. Trying to get over the Mendoza line for the season. Take strike one. He'll ground that to first. Quick inning on both ends of the, the inning there. We've played two. Pirates nothing, Squirrels nothing. Avilas, the catcher, will lead off here for the Pirates. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Looks at strike two. That one should get down for a hit, and it does. Single for Avilas, that'll bring Heron to the plate, who has not gotten a hit this season and is showing bunt here. He is able to get that bunt down. Successful sacrifice for Heron, one down. Avilas moves up to second. Duffy swings and misses. Another swing and miss, 0-2 oh, the count. Looks at a low fastball for strike three. Two down. Jack Wilson up at the plate. He was able to get a hit his first time up. That one is high. Will Kester get there? He will not. That actually will end up scoring a run. Not a hard hit ball, but very well placed. Pirates take the early lead. Roberts up now. Two outs. Runner on first. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses. Oh, and two the count. Can't get him to chase on that fastball. Swings and misses there. That'll end the inning. Two hits leads to one run for Pittsburgh. They're up one nothing at the moment. We'll flip over to the bottom of the third where Joey will lead us off. He looks at strike one. That ball in the dirt. Change up on the outside corner for strike two. One and two the count here to Joey. He's able to put down a hit into right field. So Joey's been off to a very good start this season. Graves showing bunt here. See if we can again mirror the Pirates. Pulls back for a ball. Puts the bat back out there for a bunt. That one rolls foul. One and one the count. Graves will try that bunt again. Pulls the ball back, but it's called a strike. He keeps the bunt out there. That one not in the zone. Two and two the count. Graves looking to swing now, and he will come up empty. One out now. Kester now at the plate, and he's showing bunt. Pushes that one hard. A little surprised they didn't try to make a play at second on that one, but it is a sacrifice for Kester. 
That'll put Joey on second and Marvin at the plate, who's down to batting 0 8 7. 1 and 1 the count. 2 and 1 the count. Looks at that strike. And a called strike three to end the inning. We've played three. Pirates one, squirrels nothing. Xavier Nady will be leading things off for the Pirates in the top of the fourth. That fastball too high from Graves. Swing and a miss. One and one the count. Graves delivers. A ground ball up the middle. That will get through for a hit. That'll bring Casey Blake to the plate. Nobody out and a runner on first. That fastball in for a strike. Fastball relative with Graves. That fastball only hit 79 that first pitch. 0-2 oh, count now. Looks at strike three. That'll be the first out of the inning. Jose Bautista up at the plate now. He struck out looking the first time up. Looks at another strike here. Swings and misses to go down 0-2. Swings and misses again to go on down to the dugout. Two outs for Ryan Sweeney. Looks at a strike. Swings and misses. Swing and miss again, and that'll get out of the inning. Pirates do get a hit, but nothing else. Pittsburgh's still up one to nothing. Chief will lead things off for the Squirrels for their half of the fourth. Chief looks at strike one. Swings and misses at strike two. And he'll look at strike three. I don't really know what he was looking for there. Terry up at the plate now. Looks at ball one. That one too high. Hits that one in the air, but not terribly deep. Shortstop makes a long run back, but uh, Wilson able to make that catch. A little surprised that wasn't the left fielder's ball, but Wilson did make that play. Frank with a slow roller to second, and that's the end of the inning already. Quick work there for the Pirates. We've played four. Pittsburgh one, Indianapolis zero. Velas back up to the plate. He singled and scored his first time up. Ball one. That pitch catches the inside corner. One and one the count. Goes with the changeup and a swing and a miss. One and two. Oh, hits a line drive back up the middle, which does get past Graves for a hit. Would have been a hell of a play from Graves. That's a, definitely a clean hit. Heron showing bunt again. Fouls the first one off. That one stays fair. Chief throws to first for the out. Avilas moves to second again, and we know how this went last time. Duffy up at the plate now. Watches strike one. Pops that one up in the air. Tom will field this one. Avilas goes back to second. Jack Wilson up with the plate, who's been a bit of a thorn in our side here. 2-0 and count. Graves will want to go after him here. Does get that call on that fastball, which uh, tipped the scales at 81. Swing and a miss on a curveball. 2-2. Two -two. That pitch too low. Full count. Avila stays put. And... Wilson lines to Terry for out number three. Still a 1-0 game in favor of Pittsburgh. Tom will lead off the bottom of the fifth for Indianapolis. Swing and a miss from Tom.
That pitch over the corner for strike two. And looks at strike three. One down. Zach at the plate now. I just learned apparently has a four-game hitting streak going. Which, considering he's hitting under 200, it's a little surprising. One and one the count here. Heron winds and delivers. Too low. Two and one the count. Swings and misses to even the count at two and two. Too high. Count runs full. Hits that one to third. Blake puts it over for the out. Two down for Joey. Ball one. Looks at that one going over the outside corner. One and one the count. High fastball for a strike. One and two. And swing and a miss and that'll end the inning. We've played five innings. Pittsburgh one, Indianapolis zero. Brian Roberts will lead off the Pirates half of the sixth inning. Swings and misses for strike one. Looks at strike two. Gets him to swing and miss on that circle change. One down. Xavier Nady up at the plate now. Just I feel he's been productive at the plate against us, but I notice he still has yet to get an RBI this year. And down 0-2 here. Graves with the slider. Nady, I think, just put it over the wall. Nope, just off the wall. That'll stay barely in the park. He will get to second base for a double. Watch the replay here. I did think this was going to be a home run off the bat. Right field is definitely the easier field to homer in in this park. Still not cheap out there, but... Casey Blake at the plate now with one out and a runner on second. Looks at strike one. Fouls that one off. Oh, and two the count. Grounds that to Chief. Gets the out at first. Nady stays put at second base. Jose Bautista now at the plate with two out. He grounds the first pitch to Kester, who gets it over to first for the last out. One solid hit out of Xavier Nady, but nothing else doing. Still, Pittsburgh won, Indianapolis nothing. We're going to the bottom of the sixth, and we are actually going to pinch hit for Graves. He's given us six good innings today. Uh, let's see, Phil's still not gotten a hit, so let's put him in the game. Really trying hard to get everybody off for that zero average. But of course Phil wouldn't make that easy. But he does look at ball one. Looks at strike two. Two and one the count now. Phil's still not taking the bat off his shoulder. Swings at that one and will ground to shortstop who makes the throw for the out. Kester at the plate now. That pitch too low. That pitch too high. 2-0. and oh. Kester swings and lines it to Casey Blake, who makes a pretty good play. Two down for Marvin, who feels like he's about to be exiting this game with the kind of average he's sporting right now. Lines that one foul. 0-2 oh, the count. That pitch too low. Marvin did not go fishing for it. He does go fishing for that one and grounds it back to Heron, who gets the out. Well, Jones is our usual reliever after Graves, so we'll stick with him, even though he's a... Uh, 
little worn down after all these extra inning games we've had. Also, not going to put our slowest person in center field. Let's slide Zach over to center, and we'll see how Kester does in the outfield. Not a strong arm, but he's he's quick, so we'll see if he can maybe just get the fly balls if there, there are any to get. So Jones gave us some good innings. Uh, was that just last game? I know we turned to zap and things went to crap yesterday, so I think it was the game before. Jones gave us some real solid innings. So we'll look for that again here. That one off of Phil's glove. Oh, couldn't quite make the play. It was a good play to even knock it down. Thought he might be able to get that out, but... Ryan Sweeney just a little bit too quick. Tom will cut him down, though, as he tries to steal second. Tom, not the greatest catcher, but he does have a good arm. One down now for Avilas. He'll foul that one off. Count now 0-2. Didn't get the call on that fastball. Swing and a miss. Two down. Looks like Dan Heron is going to hit here. He sacrificed both of his first two times up. He'll look to actually get a hit here. Grounds that foul ball. Oh, and to the count. Swings, and Chief will put that away easily. It's stretch time. I'll be back with you momentarily. Pirates switch out Bautista for Jeff Bloom. Their normal defensive change, it seems. Chief at the plate here. Oh, I forgot to turn the volume back down. Not that the crowd noise is terrible, but... The dueling announcers might get old quick. Oh, and to the count on Chief, who swings and misses for strike three. One down, Terry at the plate. Strike one on the outside corner. That one too low. That one catches the corner. One and two the count. Terry yet to swing the bat. Swings here. Pops it up for Avilas to field right in front of the plate. Two down. Frank at the plate now. That pitch too far outside. That pitch too low. 2-0. Two oh. Good hitters count here for Frank. Looks at strike one. 2-2. Two and two. Looks at that high fastball for a strike. Too far inside. Full count. Heron winds and delivers. Frank will put that into center field for a hit. Single for Frank. Tom, who has struck out twice today at the plate now, once swinging, once looking, looks at strike one here. Similar pitch, but Heron doesn't get that call. Swing and a miss for Tom. That one too low. Two to the count. Gets a lot of that one. Is that all of it? Over the wall, two-run home run for Tom, and the Squirrels take the lead. The ball didn't clear the fence by a lot, but it was to dead center, and it was timely. No replay for that either, though. That's kind of amazing. Zach at the plate now. Looks at strike one. That one too far outside. One and one the count. Fastball at the knee, strike two. 
Swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. But a big fly from Tom gives the Squirrels the lead. That means we've played seven. Pittsburgh one, Indianapolis two. And that changes the pitching dynamics. Jones will get to yield to Hermita as our setup man. We've not seen him in a little bit. Uh, Zach has been playing center field, so I guess we'll uh, bring Miake in then to play center. Uh, that's probably as good as we're going to get. So, yeah, we'll go with that. If we get another pinch hit, we'll try to get Quentin in and get a, a real outfielder out there. Alright, so Hermita in here to do his normal job of locking down the eighth inning. Starts off with the fastball for a strike. Grounds that one to first for Duffy and is tagged out. Wilson at the plate now. He's gotten a couple hits today. Though we were able to retire him the last time up. There's that big curve and Wilson far ahead of that one. Goes back to the curve. Wilson waits for that one better and fouls it off. 0-2 oh, the count. High fastball, but Wilson doesn't chase. Ground ball to third. Chief gets it over for out number two. Brian Roberts up for his fourth time. He struck out his other three appearances. Swings and misses to open here. Grounds that one. Hermina knocks it down and makes the play. <coughs> Going to the bottom of the eighth. Two to one. Squirrels ahead. Heron's going to keep on the mound here to face Joey. Who looks at ball one. Gets that call. Must have caught the inside corner. Swing and a miss. One and two the count. Swing and a miss. Strike out for out number one. Phil has another chance to get his first hit of the season. Looks at strike one. He gets that one, but it goes foul. Oh, and two the count. Grounds that one to third, and that will be out number two. Kester up now. Looks at strike one. He'll hit that one up the middle, but Heron knocks it down and gets the out. We've played eight. Pittsburgh one, Indianapolis two. Now it's Shibuya time to try to close this out in regulation, or maybe our first nine inning game against the Pirates. Also gives us a good chance to get Quentin into the game here and give us true outfielders again. So Shibuya on for... I believe what would be his third save of the season if he's able to convert here. I think he was able to close both games against the Reds, if memory serves. And he said the other games have all been extra inning affairs, so we didn't get a closer there. A one and one the count here to Nady. Fouls that change up off. One and two the count. He'll put that one into center. And Miyake's got no prayer of getting to that one. It was shallower than I thought it was going to be. Pirates turn to a pinch hitter, or pinch runner, rather. Collapso, who is faster than 80, will take over at first. Blake at the plate looks at strike one, swings and misses strike two. And we'll put that fastball to Joey. One down now. Jeff Bloom at the plate here. Oh, Shibuya with the pickoff. 
And they are able to get Collapso. Two down. Ground ball. That'll get up the middle for a hit. Ryan Sweeney now at the plate. Runner back on first, but two outs now. Ground ball to fill at second. Who makes the play? And that's the game. A nine-inning affair, finally. Pittsburgh Pirates 1, Indianapolis Squirrels 2. We take three out of four against the Pirates here at home. Uh, we were tied with the Brewers again for first place. We'll have to see if that's still true after today's games. Take a look at the highlights here. Maybe get another look at Tom's home run since the game did not give us a highlight at the time. A replay at the time. Here it is. And right over the center field fence, right over the 413. And then the ground ball to end the game. Shibuya with a questionable player of the game, simply doing his job. He did give up two hits and en route to that save. Tom, a more meaningful player of the game. I like that call a little better. So thank you for watching, everybody. We'll be back at it tomorrow against a different team. I'm sorry I didn't check who that would be. Um, I don't even know if it's home or away. Don't look that far ahead in the schedule. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff if you feel like it. I'm not begging because um, this channel is not going to make any money, and I don't really need it to. And we will see you all tomorrow.